we had got a call out. It was two people initially, but he said there was just one that was shot. So he said, okay. <clears throat> so we made our way behind the apartment where we parked and uh, saw the victim laying on the ground, out in the grass, off the sidewalk. And uh, police were there. They were already doing CPR. They were doing mouth to not really mouth to mouth, mouth the mask. So told them to stop, put them on the heart monitor, heart monitor showed no activity, and just called it right there. Okay. You're responsible for making that, that call uh -huh. based on what you read on the heart monitor? Yes. And uh, what do you see on the heart monitor that made you decide that, okay, there's nothing we can do? Uh, he's basically flatline. Flatline? Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, once you made the call, what occurred then? Uh, as soon as you made the call, um, just basically you took him off the monitor and just left him the way he was. No one else touched him. We just kind of packed up everything and just made our way out of the scene. Okay, once you withdrew from that scene, did you treat the other gentleman there, Mr. Zimmerman? Yes, I did. Okay. How did, what kind of treatment did you render him? Um, well, we made our way up to the police car. He was sitting in the police car. He was in handcuffs. Um, I asked the officer if he could uh, open the door and at least let him swing out so we can uh, evaluate him. He did so. Um, Basically, uh, just evaluate him. He had, you know, cuts and abrasions on his face, his nose. It looked like he had some damage. And he had a cut on the back of his head, and we basically just uh, cleaned him up. Did he make any statements to you as to how he received his injuries? No, he didn't. Did he make any statements at all while you were there? No, he was pretty, pretty silent. Okay. Did anybody ask him how'd you get you, how'd, how'd you get this cut, or how'd you get your nose hurt, or anything like that? Uh, nobody asked him, no. Okay. Uh, we stood him up and we lifted up his shirt, kind of just checked him over real quick, and then sat him down, cleaned him up. The wounds had basically stopped bleeding. Uh, told the officer there that he was going to need to go to the hospital probably and get some stitches. Well, he had a definite laceration to the back of the head. I mean, it was, he had like, uh, sh like real short, like almost like ball type. Mm -hmm. So you could tell, I mean, it was, it was pretty big. It was probably about at least an inch by about half an inch wide. So, I mean, it was a definite wound back there. Uh, he had some abrasions on his forehead. He had a kind of like a deformity on the nose. Kind of like a swollen. He had some abrasions on his cheeks and his face. 